Hello everyone, I'm Keely and this is Voice of a Creative and today I'm here to show you my May and June fabric haul. So I haven't posted any videos for a little while, I have been very busy with getting back into the swing of things with school and I'm hoping to be able to film a couple more videos over the next few weeks and into the summer because I will be off for the summer so we'll have a little bit more time. I must admit filming these videos is taking a little bit of a back seat. I've got a lot less energy than I used to and I've decided to focus a bit more on my kind of artistic practice and also on getting my schoolwork done. I think having all that time off this year from work actually made me miss school, miss teaching the students, miss art and I'm trying to spend a little bit more time doing that. And one of the things to do with that is I've decided to actually do my artist teacher masters. So this is a qualification, it's gonna be three years part-time alongside my full-time work. And it's specifically for teachers of art or people who work in an educational context who want to be artists as well as teachers. And I will end up getting a master's qualification from it. And I'm really excited about that. I think it will be great for extending my practice as an artist and actually really allow me to spend time being creative like that. I'm also finding that I've got a lot of clothes in my wardrobe that I'm managing to wear but I am finding a few gaps more recently now we've got some of the hotter weather and so I am hoping to spend a little bit of time this summer going through my wardrobe and making some new things which I will hopefully film parts of and then I'll be able to put those into videos throughout the summer for you. So on to the fabric haul. So I've got fabric from three different shops and I will show you them and just talk about what I might make and ask for some suggestions because I'm not quite sure for some of the fabrics. So first up is two fabrics from Minerva. Now these were given to me as part of the Minerva brand ambassadors program. So I will make something from these fabrics and then I will post it on their online blog with pictures of the make and in process shots and a little bit of writing about what I chose to make. So I went for two viscose jerseys. This is the first one. So it's a navy background with hexagon shapes with all different colours. And I thought this was really lovely when I saw it because I thought it would be nice and bright and colourful for summer. So I'm going to make something out of this fairly soon and then I will be able to wear it uh, throughout the summer and then into the new school year. And I have been finding if I'm wearing kind of brighter makes, I do feel a lot happier during the day. And so I'm trying to go with navy, which I'm comfortable with, but then the brighter colours as well. So this fabric has a nice stretch to it, a lovely drape. It's not see-through at all. So I think it's got a good uh, weight to it. And I've got another viscose jersey as well and I have two different patterns that I will choose from. So the first is the Kilo Wrap dress by Named Clothing and the second is the Westcliff dress by Friday Pattern Company. And I'm going to make one in one of those and one in the other one because those are patterns that I've both made before and I know fit me well and I've also got examples in my wardrobe that I can try on to see if I do need to make any fitting tweaks. So that's the first fabric. The second fabric is this one, it's a little bit more muted, so it's got a slightly different navy background, more indigo, and then it's got this flower design. So that's the design, so you've got pinks and purples and blues, slightly more muted colour palette, but I actually really love it, I like the tones of the pink, I'm wondering about making like a pastel pink cardigan or this brighter kind of cranberry to go with this, uh, but again, really lovely pattern, it's very much the same weight as the other fabric, it's not see-through but it's got plenty of drape and stretch which I am really happy with and I'm excited to make those two dresses. Then I've got three fabrics from Lamazi Fabrics. Now these I paid partly for, so I was uh, given a voucher after my recent blog post that I did and so I spent that for part of the fabrics but I did pay for the rest of the fabrics. And I got two tensile jerseys and one beautiful uh, viscose, so I'll show you the viscose first. So this is, I think it's a Japanese garden viscose and it's the Atelier dupe one and it's got this beautiful blue background with a ditzy print 
and I just love the colours. It's got pinks and greens and yellows. I think that might be upside down actually. Maybe it's this way round. <laughs> there we go. That's right, I think. Yeah, the trees are the right way round now. So again, beautiful drape. I will put it closer so you can see the pattern. And literally, I was so glad to be able to buy some of this because it's such a beautiful pattern. And especially it being a Japanese inspired print, that reminds me of my time when I went to Japan. And I just think it's such a beautiful ditzy design with just some really lovely fine details. Now, this is uh, viscose, but this isn't too thin. Um, again, it's got lovely drape. And I'm not sure what to make out of this yet. I have recently made another Rita shirt dress and I absolutely love it. I think that pattern works really well for me. So again, this could be a Rita shirt dress. I might have a little bit left over to make like a top or something. But if you've got any suggestions for this fabric, then please just comment them down below because I want to make something really beautiful. But at the same time, I don't want it just sitting in my stash. So I'd like to be able to make something soonish to be able to wear for this because it's so lovely. And I think it's just my colours as well. Next up, we've got a slightly different colour. So this is a tensile modal jersey. And again, a floral print. Uh, beautiful weight, really soft. I absolutely love the tensile and modal jerseys. And I like this colour as well. Again, I mean, it's like my top. A little bit of a different colour in terms of a red, but it's still like a nice bright colour. So I feel like it suits me. And then you've just got the white flower with the grey leaves. So just a close up so you can see. And I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to make with this yet. I've got quite a few jersey dress patterns that I could choose to make. I haven't made any of my self-drafted dresses for a while, so I might go ahead and do that. Although my body shape has changed a bit, so I might need to alter the pattern from before. But I'm really looking forward to making this into something. Again, if you've got any suggestions of jersey dress patterns to make with this, then please just comment them down below and I will take a look at them. Last of all, we've got this fabric, which is another tensile modal, and it's got the navy background with the green kind of mint uh, flower. Again, beautiful drape, really lovely thickness. I think this is one of my favourite fabrics, along with viscose jersey, to work with. I think the drape is just really flattering, uh, especially with the types of dresses that I like to wear. And yeah, really pleased with that one as well nice group of colours and also it brings the mint green in which means I can wear a mint green cardigan which again is really nice and that one's just got the flower print as well. My last few fabrics are from Like So Amazing so after I don't know a year and a half of not going to the shop I finally went to see Sarah at Like So Amazing and I bought some fabric while I was there it was really lovely to go and see fabric in a real shop again and of course talk to Sarah and I'm looking forward to being able to do that a little bit more in the near future. So the first one you will recognise is exactly the same fabric that I've just shown you but in a different colour. Uh, as you might know I like to buy the same fabrics in different colours and what I will do is any leftovers I will put together potentially into a t-shirt because I always think the same patterns but different colours seem to go together. So this one is a teal background. I think that's upside down. Let me turn it round like this. So a teal background with the red poppies. So again, I think these colours look really cute together. I'm liking kind of bringing the greens and reds together as kind of a contrast clash. And again, it's got beautiful drape. It's the tensile modal jersey and really lovely weight for many different um, designs. So looking forward to, again, being able to make something with this that will be really beautiful. And I just love that colour as well, that combination, and it will go with so many different cardigans as well. Next up, we've got this one. This is a cotton jersey with a really cool and vibrant lightning design. You've got the purple and the blue and, of course, the white of the lightning. 
and I bought just a meter of this I'm going to make a pajama t-shirt with it now I've been making quite a few pajama t-shirts recently after noticing that many of mine were kind of stained and a little bit too small like not fitting as well as I would want them to as in they weren't that comfortable so I've been making a few more t-shirts so it's likely that I will make the Jackson tee by Helen's Closet that's what I've been making for my pajama t-shirts I feel like it's a slightly more relaxed style which I have been finding really comfortable to wear to bed so that's what this is for but I just loved how kind of stunning uh, the print was and also it's nice for me to have slightly different prints of, or more novelty prints and like brighter prints to wear um, for bed because I do like these kind of prints but I don't necessarily get a chance to wear them in my day-to-day -day life next up we've got this one now this is a little bit crumpled I just took these out of the wash and I haven't actually uh, ironed them yet but it's a blue kind of random dot uh, lovely drape it's a rayon and I am planning to make a woven kind of top or blouse out of this I am looking for patterns so if you've got any suggestions for like beautiful woven tops or blouses um, I've seen quite a few around that I would like to kind of buy and look at now I haven't bought patterns for a while and I was looking at my patterns and thinking actually some of these aren't designs that I would make now uh, and I think I need to do a bit of an update and have a little look and try and make some new pattern designs and uh, work from some different pattern companies as well the one thing I'm thinking is a lot of the designs that I've kind of seen online have very high necks and I just do not feel comfortable with that. I'm looking for like an open neck, you know, like a shirt cut collar or blouse collar or like a lower design. And although I know that I could like hack it to make it lower, hacking a woven top and redrafting the facings is just not the same as doing on a jersey garment where you could basically just cut it lower and make the neckband wider. I am looking for something that already has a lower neckline or more kind of yeah like a design slightly different design feature because having something really high necked just feels very uncomfortable for me so that is that one again looking forward to making that probably for summer because it is a beautiful drapey fabric and I just think it will look lovely with skirts and with jeans and things like that next up we've got this fabric which is absolutely beautiful I'm so glad I uh, bought it so it's a kind of teal blue but it's got all these vibrant colors including the pinks and the lighter blues again beautiful and bright for summer but also in the autumn and winter when I'm wanting to feel happy on those gray days this is an art gallery print and it is a rayon again really just beautiful uh, design there and drape and I do find the art gallery rayons they are slightly more see-through than some of the other ones I've got but they would be perfectly fine to wear and I quite often wear my dresses with tights and things or a little pair of shorts if I'm wearing them out so it's absolutely fine to me but yeah beautiful beautiful design there and last of all is this one now I had a print like this uh, before but the background was a much much lighter colour and I, I felt uncomfortable to use it because I thought oh if I made a skirt out of it and then I kind of sat on something or stained it then I wouldn't be able to wear it so I bought this one and it is a cotton and I don't really work with cottons that often but it is one of the Ruby Star Society uh, border prints so here is the kind of border. Let me see if I can hold it up better. There we go. So it's this beautiful kind of deep teal. It's got little gold coppery details. And then it's just these beautiful bright colors to form the border. And they're like big flowers as well, which I think I will take a lot of inspiration from. I love floral designs anyway. And the other side, so because it's a border print it has a, a smaller design on the other side so what I'm thinking with this is this is quite a long piece of uh, fabric but I'm hoping that I will be able to use the bottom section like with the border here to make a skirt and then I might have some left over but I might be able to use that to make um, like a mask or add in to onto a cushion or something like that the possibilities with cotton are basically endless because you can do loads of stuff with with cotton so I'm making a skirt 
I think I am going to self-draft the skirt. I was asked to try the Stitch Sisters um, pleated skirt or gathered skirt tutorial a few years ago and actually there were some really good tips and tricks in that that I could use to support me in drafting a skirt. I probably wouldn't make it quite as... Um, that one had quite a lot of folded into the pleat so I'd probably make it kind of more pencil skirt but I think that that would look really lovely and I'm wondering if I can make it so that there are, the only join is like at the back seam so the sides actually don't have a join and wonder if I could do the pleats to give it the shaping um, so I'm going to have a, get another piece of cotton out of my stash give it a try and then see if I can do that with this if I do manage to do it I will of course kind of talk you through the process um, but or I might uh, end up using the Donovan skirt pattern by Helen's Closet because I've made that lots of times before and there's the new is it Maeve skirt pattern from True Bias that I could also uh, use which is a, a gathered elasticated uh, skirt but yeah really pleased with that one absolutely beautiful and I think it will be an absolutely stunning skirt and I think I could probably get away with wearing a pattern top in one of these colours with it as well so it'll just be really lovely and bright so those are the fabrics that I've bought recently I am really looking forward to using them and making them into garments I am going to be doing a little bit of an evaluation of my wardrobe as we're going into summer. Think about the things I've worn over the last couple of terms at school and I have already been pulling things out that don't fit uh, to put to the side to decide whether I do want to keep them or adjust them or whether it's worth giving them away or uh, to charity or to friends and family and then just making some new things my body has changed a little bit over the last year what with being at home and then being um, a lot well I'm having a lot less energy and although that's likely to probably change again now I'm kind of back at work I'm doing 10,000 steps a day but at the same time the thing that makes me feel worse about my body is not its weight is not its size is having clothes in my wardrobe that when I put on they feel uncomfortable because they're too tight and I think that's the biggest thing for most of us you want clothes that fit you no matter what your size and that's why I'm thinking of um moving those clothes that maybe don't fit me as well now out of the way and actually choosing to make some new things that make me feel really bright and colourful and happy. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please press a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Goodbye.